Let's go through the Torrens line, TD907. Oh, it's got a really cool retro look to it. A suspended design, like the classic Torrens turntables. The 907 has 10,000 10, euros. Uh, it's pricey, but it's, that's a really cool looking turntable if you ask me. 905 is 7,000. And it's got a glass platter, same suspension. The 903, 6,000, glass platter. Well, it's an original live, it looks like. That's an original live. It's a special version of the Enterprise Tonar. Right. Okay, so that they're making for her. And so, so she's making this, but it's it's based on a on a, on a garage design? It, it, it's originally based on a garage design, if I got all that right. Right. Okay. But she builds her own motor. She builds her own drive shaft. She has wow. her own platter. And th uh, together with Joachim Gerhard, she has done a lot of the electronics design. So if you scope down, what you see, those two boxes below that oh, right. are actually part of this design. Oh. So this is basically difficult to see with the camera. I see. In a reference circuitry level, I on see. where you uh, put the frequency. Right. And this is synthesizing the power for this one, for these two oh, to wow. go together. And what does this cost? Well, uh, the last update I heard, it would be something like 85,000 euros, Whoa. including a tone arm. You could, uh, like this one. You could have any tone arm you wanted, and she can make anything. But with this one, she knows it will absolutely work. And most of the cases, she's delivering them with a Lyra Atlas, right. which is a beautiful combination in her book. But right. she has had people requesting other things, and she will do anything people will request. Well, cartridges are very personal, you know. The Aetna is a fantastic cartridge. Yeah, and basically, as these are built by her by hand, with a, a number of German, Swiss and Austrian craftsmen helping out. Okay, so the, this is the, there are two MoFi turntables They're here at the show, and this one is a thousand dollars. And it's an AC synchronous motor? Yes. And it's a, what's the platter? Delrin platter. A Delrin platter, okay. We've got custom feet designed by Mike Latvis of HRS. Hey, Mike Latvis designed the feet, you know? Okay. And basically the designs for the turntables all began with the power button on our Studer tape deck at Mobile Fidelity. Oh yeah, there And that's go. where we started. <laughs> right. And the designs just grew from there. And uh, the customers at the show in Germany have been uh, very excited about the two turntables, the three moving magnet phono cartridges we have, and our two entry level phono preamps. Okay, so let's see. Now, how much is this turntable? This is the more this one's expensive. $1,800. And the difference seems to be uh, the platter. The platter's bigger? Yes, it's a bigger platter, uh, more reinforced motor, uh, better bearings in the tone arm. Uh, more damping in the tone arm and a, uh, an aluminum uh, plate on the top for other damping. Okay. And uh, there have been some tweaks to the motor as well to prevent more vibration from getting to the styles. Okay. And then uh, this is these are your two phono. Who designed these? Can you talk about that? Uh, oh. And, uh, he was uh, instrumental in helping us design the phono stages. Uh -huh. So this, this is a so it's got a mono button, which is really cool. Yes, and, this and is just an entry level phono stage for uh, I think two forty nine, and then uh, the five hundred dollar version. This is moving magnet and moving coil. Or yes, just it is. Both. Yeah, the switches are underneath for loading, okay. moving coil, moving magnet. Okay. And this one is how much? This one is going to be five hundred dollars. It's a, a better circuit, and uh, it also has a built-in headphone amp. Oh wow! And so the output controls are only for the headphone amp. Correct, only for the headphone. And both of these have subsonic filters because your new turntables have a lot of rumble. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mobile Fidelity customers sometimes keep their turntables in places that are not optimal. It's a very good idea to have that filter. I think it's under a feature all that should be in any entry-level phono preamp. Yeah, it, I agree. And then these are your cartridges. Yes. Yeah. We're going to start with uh, an entry-level moving magnet for about $200, uh, mid-grade moving magnet in aluminum uh, for about $499, and then uh, the upper-end moving magnet, which will be $800. Uh, the, the cartridges are made in Japan, but all the other electronics are all made in the United States. Oh, outstanding. Uh, we are also going to have ex expand our accessory line with... Uh, Vibration control feet and a record weight, which uh, we've had incredible help from uh, our friends at HRS. Oh, fantastic. And one other question. If somebody buys a package, 
of a phono preamp, a cartridge, and a turntable. Is there any special discount for a package, or is it you just add it up and that's what it costs? Retailers are going to have their own special bundles. Um, and I have a special you bundle, but you're not going to see it. You've been trying to show it to me for so long. I don't, don't tell everybody that. <laughs> the truth hurts. Uh, yes, there, there will be all kinds of bundles and bundles that tie into the vinyl. And what we're trying to do is take the listener from the studio mastering lab into their listening rooms. And we want to keep control over the whole signal chain. And this is where we're starting at the source. And there's going to become a, a much larger line of mobile fidelity electronics as we go along. Thank you. You're very welcome, Michael. Thank you for uh, coming and seeing our products. Yeah. So this is our new Talis turntable, TTT Compact Mark II. Um, compared to the older model, it has a new drive system. So this means a new motor, a new drive electronics, and especially a new mechanical arrangement to guide the belt very precisely, so the belt cannot move in any direction. And there are two additional flywheels to enlarge the mass, the turning mass. Um, we have uh, speed constancy about uh, double as precise as before. Really? Yeah. Wow. How come you didn't think of this before? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So now it's uh, linear around 0.07 percent. Wow. Yeah. And what does this sell for in America? Um, the turntable is twelve thousand five hundred dollars. And that includes the arm, or does? No, it? the arm is separately eight thousand. Yeah. yeah. So it's tw about twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. The yeah. Roughly. Yeah. Fair enough. And there's the platter over there. Okay, and that's that's what's new. Yeah, we have two different colors. So this is the black one, and the bright one is playing over there. So that's the the main change. Yeah. Okay. This is the Land Messer audio turntable. So this is the Jadis turntable prototype. Now, the prototype that I that I heard about was only playing 33. It didn't do 45. Does this do 45? Uh, uh, no, 33 and uh, for 45 you have to change the, the wheel. I see. Uh, we use now a PAPS motor. Uh, PAPS motor, we have a controller in uh, AC and a frequency. Right. Uh, Three gears, we can adjust the speed with the lamp, and here is present the strobe. Okay, you can move the, the lamp, you can put two tone arms, and now we use for the coupling the motors, we use spring with not a grommets because spring is the best solution for rumble, so we don't have rumble. Right, and, and that's, that's, uh, for that's only for transport we put the ground mats. And that's it over there opened up, let's, let's move. You can see the, the PAPS motor. This is the PAPS motor, uh, made in Germany, produced in 1973. So it's, this, is, so this is a vintage motor. Uh, but uh, are new. Oh, they're new? I, 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 mi sto spiegando a chiedere di spiegare che questi ho comprato 120 motori americani vintage tedeschi, i PAPS, quindi sto utilizzando questi motori nuovi, quindi utilizzo questi PAPS. I said they bought 100 PAPS motor vintage, I don't know where. Sì, nuovi e abbiamo sviluppato new. il nuovo Blackstone su questo motore PAPS. Mm. Uh, so the, the, the new version is uh, developed on uh, this uh, motor. So you bought vintage ones, but this is, these are new ones? Sono nuovi. Sono nuovi. Yes, they're new. Oh, nuovi. Nuovi. okay. Nuovi. New motors. Nuovi. I have 120 piece. That you had made? Yes. Yeah. It's very incredible. Uh, this motor was used in a Troubadour, uh, mm -hmm was used in a Troubadour in Torrance, in, uh, in Torrance. Sure. Yes, I torque. It's beautiful. Have you reviewed one of these? Yes. It's good? Yes, it's good. Of course, you must like the idler wheel, right. as, as I do like. Um, right. It's very close to the, the best uh, vintage uh, units you, you, you can get. Better than a TD-124, for instance, yeah, much yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. Very close to EMT 927, for instance, yeah. uh, which is uh, <laughs> the, the best one in my. And so, what, is this, what does this turntable cost? Uh, the 
cost is uh, 36,000 euro. Yes. Uh, distributor. So, so this is Marco Benedetti. He's, he's, uh, he, he is uh, in Italy, when I, supposedly I am in, in America. It's Mr. Minor. <laughs> Thank Mr. you. Mr. Pasecki Blue. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay.